I'm gonna mention you first of all the materials okay. that we're gonna use. As you can see, you have uh, the hoop, okay. embroidery hoop. And the second thing, designs, of course, um, but you can also uh, draw it. And we have also this pen we're using. Yeah, we need scissors for the yarn. These yarns are actually cotton. Uh, 100% but you can also use acrylic or wool uh, depending on the needle size this is the needle that we're gonna use uh, you can see we have three needles uh, the first one is called fine needle and the second one is medium and this is actually the large let me show you how you can use this needle you need to start from the bottom and pull inside inside the needle here you can see and when you pull out the yarn is coming and it's ready to use how you can use the hook when you open the hook you will see it has two rings so this is called inner hook inside and the spoke out hook and for inner hook you need to put inside and then outside is the outer hook so there are three golden rules on the Um so first one is you need to follow the direction of the needle when you're punching Second rule is you need to punch all the way down until the base of your needle is the fabric. So this is really important because if you not reach the end, uh, the loop here, you see, it won't be the same length. The third rule is about coming up. So when you are um, lifting up your punch needle too high, stitches come up, mm -hmm. you see. You need to follow the next stitch barely. If you made a mistake, let's say, uh, punch needle is super forgiving. You can just do this, okay. stitches come up. And you can see there are some spaces here. You can uh, fix it with your needle doing like this. You oh. see, the fabric is gonna repair themselves. This needle actually is adjustable, so you can adjust the length of the needle. So for example, if you want to use the 12, number 12, you can just adjust the needle until the end and then just close it. Let me show you how it's gonna look actually when I punch it. You see? You can see actually here. It's really big. It's more fluffy. <laughs> If you want to use the smallest size, this, and let me show you the length again. Here, we'll see the difference. Thank you. Yeah. You can even use uh, the different size of the needle to create more texture. And while you're doing um, your design, for example, this one, you need to follow first the shapes like outside and that's a that's really good up. yeah and like you're going this way and like a spiral and you're going inside if you want to use this part the fluffy part uh, it's called loop side uh, you need to do inside for example this is actually you can see this design is the loop side and you made it mm -hmm. on the inside yes I made it on the inside and the one thing that you need to know when you're punching the design will be mirrored mm -hmm. so if you want to draw a design it's gonna mirror it at the end
how it tastes like. Wow, it looks really nice. It's really nice. I mean, this part. Yeah, yeah. Looks really nice. nice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 